So here we go. This is a preview of the Cade Peak course. Now this has some uh, wonderful obstacles on it, as we'll see later in the course. If you look to the top left of the screen, you'll see that there's a map, uh, a squiggly little thing with lots of dots on it. Um, we're the yellow dot, everybody else is blue. Just below that is a profile, and you'll see along the profile our yellow dot just moving along, starting on the left as we go around these two riders here. And there's a hill um, probably two thirds of the way through it. Uh, that hill is where most of the obstacles are and that's where the steering becomes important. However, an early opportunity to look at steering here is I steer into the middle, try to squeeze through these two guys. Uh, you can't go through um, riders when they're solid. If they're ghosted, you can. Uh, if they're ghosted, it means it's the first 10 seconds of the race or they're on another lap or they're stopped or something. Um, just squeeze through those two uh, without getting blocked. Uh, this is quite tactically important in a more crowded race. Now we have to go to the centre here to avoid the uh, edges of this bridge. Um, I've only just done that, uh, just missing those uh, by a whisker. Now I had set up the, uh, ca the uh, calibration here uh, quite sensitively. Now again, I can't get past these guys unless well, there we are I managed to take the uh, right line there they're probably on automatic uh, pilot which means that they will uh, the steering will automatically take them to the inside of the bend I've got that switched off and uh, so therefore steering is important like I said I've calibrated it quite sensitively and um, I'm getting used to it a little bit because I tend to either over or under steer and uh, again just need to move into the center here to avoid the posts on that bridge um, it won't auto steer me around them uh, then back into the inside of the bend uh, best to take the inside of the bends if you can uh, because that will save you vital seconds but be careful just look at the speedometer there the needle nearly going into the red uh, if I go into the red on any of those bends um, I am likely to crash I mean it does seem to allow uh, a momentary flicker into the red but uh, not anything prolonged so you need to brake before the bends and basically pedal out of them uh, ensuring that that little uh, speedometer dial needle doesn't go into the red zone. The green represents the speed you're doing, white or yellow is safe, but red, as you can see there, just on these bends, very close to the red, uh, but just getting them right to get around. Now this uh, gets compounded when we get up to the obstacles in a little while, and you'll see the yellow dot now uh, is moving through the course, and we're gonna start hitting, here they are. So the first obstacle on the left there, that one's easy to miss, uh, but look, Oh, straight into that one and uh, a bad crash. But that was uh, largely because I was um, not controlling the speeding very, steering very well. Uh, as I say, I've done it rather sensitively and I'm kind of getting used to the new setting that I've given it. Do you see that I sort of wobble past those two? So, so far, uh, just one crash on that first uh, obstacle uh, but there's plenty more to come um, all around the road so we go around this one now look this one's difficult there's one on the left one in the middle get around those this one's particularly difficult getting through that all oh. and again if I hadn't fiddled around with steering I think I was probably on the right line if you do get through that fast look at the bend you get straight away afterwards with that obstacle on the bend um, so you need to have your speed checked here round those two safely uh, to the left for this one again don't go too fast because look the needles in the red and bang off in the corner. Too busy concentrating on the obstacles and uh, forgot to slow down for the bend. As I say, break before you get to the bend. Now, one more obstacle to go. You have to miss this one. And uh, I say one more, there's several more here. Uh, getting around these is not too difficult, but uh, being very cautious. And again, don't go too fast around this one. It's easy to miss the obstacle. You've got that sharp bend straight away afterwards. Look at the needle just touching the red, but not making me crash. And uh, get safely around those. A couple more obstacles on the right for this one you can just squeeze through on the right here look needle it just touching the red will I get around the bend yes just made it it's uh, very fine lines here uh, and then we're through the obstacles and heading for the finish line uh, in this first lap so that's the KP course um, plenty to negotiate as I say uh, if you concentrate on the uh, obstacles too much you might just find yourself uh, racing into a bend afterwards another bend coming up here you can see the needle just touching the red a break into the bend just keeping it uh, below the red there very 
very, very slightly going into the red there, but not enough to make me crash. I'm on the outside of the uh, bend, which is not a great idea, so I'm uh, steering over to the centre to get a better line, but I've got to steer around this guy uh, because he will block me if I if I don't. Now, this final bridge, the one last, uh, the final frontier, as Captain Kirk might have said, um, a bit of a wobbly steer, but I get through the uh, middle there, and a recent race, I saw somebody crash on that and lose about three places. You can see the finishing line coming up. It's a great course. Enjoy it. And it's a great opportunity to hone your steering and braking skills on Cade Sport with West London VR. See you on a race.